Welcome to No Inches DIY. Here's a video of the second day painting with the rotor so coat. Today, I've just got the bottom half of this room to do, and then a second coat on everything. And I've decided I'm going to paint the ceilings of the bathroom, laundry, and toilet. And obviously, I've got no lights in here. So I've got my machine set up. Obviously, paint bucket there. Make sure this connection's done up. Make sure this connection's really well done up. They're the two main connections that can leak under high pressure and cause you a nasty injury like paint injection. This hose, when I first bought it, it was so rigid and springy. So what I did last night is I soaked it in hot water. I hung it out, suspension style. And now it's a lot more relaxed. Should be a lot easier to use. I missed this bit because I forgot to mask up. And I was using these MDF as paint blockers yesterday. They get too paint logged and it's no good. So today I bought some core flute, just the really light cheap stuff. And I'm gonna put that on instead. Most of these walls probably don't need a second coat because I got them on there pretty good. But just to be on the safe side. So these are the three rooms. So I've bagged and given it a light sand. This one I taped. And the laundry will also get a very quick treatment. Probably one coat on these ceilings. These ceilings were really quite well finished, so no need to go over them twice, I don't think. So this is the back bedroom with its second coat. Might have gone on a bit thick in spots. So I've done the lower walls, the bathroom, toilet, and two bedrooms. And I'm just gonna work my way back to the lounge room. Maybe water the paint down a tiny little bit. You're allowed 10% and I'll do those beams again. And then by that time, the uh, Lower bits of the wall should be ready to go. I think we've done a reasonable job here. So if I start um, stripping and then I'm gonna stop for lunch. All right, the first task is gonna be reveal. I'm gonna unmask these windows and the kitchen. Looks like we've had a success here. Hardly any paint on the bricks, which is a relief. The main thing I was trying to protect, glass and window frames, I think it'll scrub off okay. Got a little bit of uh, work to do here on the glass, on the window frames, but I think that's okay. Alright, the last part of the job, cleaning the machine. So what you've got to do is run it through some uh, fresh clean water. So I've got some murky water there, which I've already run through it. I'm going to swap to fresh and then you separate your return line and your collect line and you make sure 
you go from fresh to flushed. So you're using fresh, you'll get a, a milky water, then you just keep going until clear water's coming out. And then you can clean the gun by just blasting it out. And hopefully I've already run a lot of murky stuff through it, so hopefully there's no paint left in it. So that's cleaning the pump. Clean water in, murky water out. I change that to spray, and now I'll go and spray all the remaining paint out of the gun. Now this has just got blocked. You can see it's not coming through properly. So all you have to do is turn this and blast it out. It's still quite painty in there. Starting to come through watery now. The best way to check is to spray it on a tree. No, nah, still a bit murky, but that might be because I've got murky water in that bucket. All right, that just looks like a bit of murk from the bucket. It's otherwise clean. I'll get a bucket of clean water. All right. Lovely and clean water coming through. Never spray your hands with this, you can inject yourself.